Right, the final race of day one is the Fred Winter for juveniles over two miles. Uh, Champion Moose, Debbie Robertson, number one, Baltic Sunrise, Graham Cladiver, Gurr, Martin Leiden, Mount Pleasant, Paul Rhodes, Art Patrick, Kevin Minigan, Lemonade, Joshua Sutherland, Love's No Friend, Martin Leiden, Egret, Graham Clatterbuck, Bell Harbour, Stu Gray, Julie T, Obi Wan, Junior Days, Obi Wan, Solar Epaulette, Patrick Hogan, Sexton Blake, Kevin Minigan, Western Province, Paul Rhodes, Anne Marie's Bling, Stu Gray, and Arena Bay, Alex Cherry. Those are the 16 horses in the Fred Winters, a nice big field. And they're at the start, and away they go. And quickly away, Mount Pleasant for Paul Rose, but now being passed by Sexton Blake. And it's the Kevin Minigan horse, Sexton Blake, and there's a uh, green colours with the orange cap elite from Baltic Sunrise in second for Graham Clutterbuck. On the rail is Mount Pleasant. Out wide, Alex Cherry's horse is moving closer. That's uh, Rena Bay. Uh, on the inside of Rena Bay is Gurr. Then comes Judy T for. Obi Wan, well, on the inside of that is Champion Moose. Uh, the second Kevin, Kevin Minigan horse is Art Patrick, is just behind that. Then Lemonade for Joshua Sullen, with on the inside of Lemonade we have Love's No Friend for Martin Needham. On the outside of Love's No Friend is uh, Patrick Hogan's Solar Epaulette. Uh, wide of that is Junior Days. The two, two great horses trapped wide, Bell Harbour and Amory's Bling. They're followed by Western Province for Paul Rose and he gritted at the back of the field for Graham Clutterbuck as they pass the stands for the first time. About to head off on their third and final circuit, and Sexton Blake leads from Marina Bay in second. Uh, they're followed by Mount Pleasant for Paul Rose. On the outside of Mount Pleasant is Gurr for uh, Martin Needham. Then comes uh, Davy Robertson's Champion Moose, followed by Art Patrick. Uh, on the inside of Art Patrick is Judy T. In between horses, Baltic Sunrise. They're followed by Patrick Hogan's Solar Appellate, who's on the outside of Love's No Friend. Lemonade between the two of those. Then comes Western Province for Paul Rose, who's about four wide. Pushed along at the stage, Junior Days near the back of the field. Egret has passed a few and the few is pass of Bell Harbour and Anne Marie's bling at the back of the field for Stu Gray but it's Sexton Blake who takes him along setting a strong pace here and jumps the next well from Marina Bay in second they're followed by Go and Mount Pleasant together then comes Judy T Art Patrick on that one's outside followed by Champion Moose with just on the outside of Champion Moose Baltic Sunrise then comes Lemonade for Joshua Sullen with Mount Pleasant on that Western Province on that one's outside we'll have no friends still on the rail for Martin Needham in those lilac and white stripes Patrick Hogan's also the third of the epaulette just on that one's outside then comes Egret for Graham Clutterbuck with Bell Harbour on the inside of that. In between the two Stu Gray horses, Junior Days and Anne Marine's Bling is uh, Stu Gray's horse at the back of the field. There's Sexton Blake, still leads them a merry dance. He's got three lengths clear of um, Arena Bay in second for Alex Cherry. Gurr has moved up on the outside of Arena Bay. Then comes Judy T for Obi Wan. Mount Pleasant has switched off the rail to get a better side of the fences. Uh, Art Patrick is trying to move closer for Kevin Minigan. Then comes a pushed along. Champion Moose, who's jumped that really well. Lemonade behind that, followed by Baltic Sunrise. Still going very well at the stage. Loves no friend. The jockey in no hurry on that one. Western Province behind that. Then comes Egret as they go down the hill. And it's Sexton Blake still the leader from Gurr in second. Mount Pleasant moving closer for Paul Rhodes. On the inside, Arena Bay is now being pushed along. Julie T still going well enough. Then Champion Moose, who needs some room there. Stuck behind horses. Lemonade is moving up on the outside, along with Baltic Sunrise. Being pushed along now is Art Patrick. Still going very well. Just behind the leaders is Loves no friend for Martin Needham and they're followed by Western Province. Three ferns left to travel and it's Sexton Blake the leader for Kevin Meanigan. Lemonade on the outside trying to throw down a challenge for Martin Needham. Gurr's on the inside of that. Then comes a Mount Pleasant now in the clear. Loves no friend. He's traveling really well for Martin Needham and also out wide Egret is trying to get going but it's Mount Pleasant who hits the front for Paul Rhodes with the two ferns left to go. It's Mount Pleasant in the front. Loves no friend and Egret and Lemonade trying to throw down the challenge. Uh, Sexton Blake is still thereabouts. It's Mount Pleasant in front for Paul Rhodes as they start to go up the hill. Mount Pleasant from Egret, but Loves No Friend is going really well for Martin Leading in between horses. Egret now hits the front, but bad mistake by Egret, and Loves No Friend is handed the lead, and Loves No Friend draws the draw clear, and the Fred winner is going to go to Martin Leading, and it's a quick fire double for Martin Leading as he wins the Fred Winter with Loves No Friend. Egret uh, was right up there, cost, cost him the race, that bad mistake at the last. But Loves No Friend wins for Martin Needham. Egret is in second place for uh, Graham Clutterbuck. Paul Rogers third with Mount Pleasant. And Lemonade was back and forth for Joshua Sullivan. Sexton Blake, the long-time leader for Kevin Minigan. And further in Gurr was six for Martin Needham. But another winner for Martin Needham. Two winners in a row. A quick fire double. Loves No Friend wins the Fred Winter.